Hey everybody, it's Jackie Reed. Some of you may remember me from my days anchoring the BET Nightly News. Some of you may remember me from my days as a correspondent for the Tom Joyner Morning Show where I did my Inside Her Story segment. Today, I am the host of an entertainment and lifestyle show here in New York called New York Live and I also do another lifestyle show from New York that airs in Boston called The Hub Today. I'm also the editor-in-chief of a lifestyle magazine called vegansexycool.com. I wanna talk about what HBCUs mean to me and HBCUs mean the world to me because CAU, Clark Atlanta University, gave me a second chance. I started out my college career at the University of Georgia and after one year, I was not performing well. I wasn't thriving at all, not involved in a lot of activities that were part of my major journalism at all. So I transferred to Clark Atlanta University and immediately I had the support of professors, fellow students. It was the perfect environment for me. I started out as a newspaper reporter and rose in the ranks to become the managing editor of the campus newspaper. Had an internship at the campus radio station WCLK and worked in the news department there and got great experience. I also had an opportunity to participate in a summer program that for eight weeks took me to Washington DC and ended with me having an internship at a real newspaper um, up in Prince George's County, Maryland. Now, that summer program was sponsored by Northwestern University, and guess where I ended up going to graduate school? Northwestern University. So I graduated from one of the most prestigious journalism programs in the country, the, Mes the Medill <laughs> School of Journalism. And I'm proud to be able to say that I had all of that opportunity because of my time at Clark Atlanta University. I can say without question, I would not be where I am today if I had not been a student at Clark Atlanta University. So HBCUs mean the world to me. Okay. So the good news is that in the midst of this pandemic where there is so much despair, so much tragedy, and people are trying to hang on to hope, I find that many of us are finding ways to reconnect to family, friends, um, you know, people that we worked with in the past, people who, you know, I've been mm, 